What's going on people? Troops TV back again and it's time for that weekend fixture preview. So let's get into this one right now. The first game we're gonna talk about goes down at the Bet365 Stadium. Stoke City entertain Chelsea. Obviously Stoke's last league game was against Man City in midweek. They got a good 0-0 draw away at the Etihad Stadium. Chelsea uh, took part in the FA Cup. Obviously they beat United 1-0. Can't they with a decent goal from outside of the box. Obviously, Chelsea have been drawn against uh, Tottenham in the semi-finals. Um, the first game that uh, these two played each other in at the bridge, Chelsea did win 4-2. And Chelsea do have a decent record at the Bet365 Stadium. And the way Chelsea are playing, you can't really see nothing but a Chelsea win. So, I'm going for a 2-0 Chelsea in this one. The next game we're going to talk about goes down at the Riverside Stadium. Middlesbrough entertain Man United. Middlesbrough's last league out in, they lost 2-0 away at Stoke. Man United obviously got kicked out of the FA Cup, 1-0 uh, at Chelsea. Pogba was nowhere to be seen yet again in a big game. I've been getting all these tweets about finding Pogba, calling him fucking Nemo, how you can't find him when a big game's on. You can't even see the dab. All you can see is six. You fuckers are still sixth. We lost, you're still sixth. You could even be fucking Bournemouth blood. You fucking ham rolls. But obviously the first time these two teams did play at OT, Man United did get a 2-1 win. And you can't really see nothing but a Man United win in this game. Although even though Zlatan is missing through suspension. So I'm going for a 1-0 Man United in this one. The next game we're going to talk about goes on at White Hart Lane. Tottenham entertain Southampton. Tottenham obviously got, took part in the FA Cup as well. A uh, big 6-0 win in the London derby against Millwall. Obviously Harry Kane got injured. <laughs> there goes your fucking season, mate. There goes your fucking season, mate. It's all gonna go fucking wrong now. By fucking April, you're gonna be hearing the fucking famous song. It's happened again. It's happened again. Tottenham Hotspur. It's happened again. Obviously Southampton. They beat uh, Watford away from home in their last game 4-3. In the first game that these got played um, at St Mary's, Tottenham did murder Southampton 4-1. And Southampton have stepped up their form. Obviously, they got the big man right now up top for them, letting off goals left, right and centre, Gabby and Dini. And I think it's going to be a difficult game for Tottenham. Obviously, they got Kane. So, you know what? I'm going for a 1-1 in this one. And the last game we're going to talk about is the game of the weekend. Goes down at the Etihad Stadium. Man City entertain Liverpool. Obviously, Man City, terrible result for them in midweek. 0-0 draw at home against Stoke. They would have been looking to get the three points to try gain a couple points on Tottenham. Obviously, Liverpool uh, dug in deep and got the win against Burnley 2-1. Came back from 1-0 uh, behind. Emery Chan with the winner. Decent goal as well. Obviously, the first time these uh, teams played at Anfield, Liverpool did get the 1-0 win. But this is at the Etihad and Liverpool don't really have a good record at the Etihad Stadium. And I believe that Man City will get the win in this one, but it will be a tight game. So I'm sorry, cameraman, but I'm going for a 2-1 Man City in this one. So that's my prediction for the weekend fixture preview. You lot already know, if you think the prediction should be different, put your predictions in the comments below. If you ain't subscribed to Troops TV, make sure you subscribe. It's your boy Troops, and I'm out.